Hi everybody, we're on Spider-Man 25 here doing another video review. This time it's on Transformers the movie Barricade. Yeah, Deluxe Barricade. Um, yeah, just murdered Bumblebee. Um, Barricade, as you can see, he's a... I th I'm not sure what he is. Um, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. Oh yeah, yeah he's a nice police car. Uh, got police written on the side there. Um, got the nice little Decepticon police symbol on the side there with. Uh, uh, what is it? It is 1865. Okay, uh, police. Got the pun to punch and enslave there. Got Celine written on the back there. Uh, <coughs> please excuse me. Um, these there, he has six, four, three, return up there, and it's got, it, these are see through, so you can see it, but I think they try to make it so those back legs that you can see there are uh, supposed to look like sort of seats. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's just how it came out. Um, Okay, so now on to size comparison. I am going to be size comparing him to the first Bumblebee uh, from the film. Um, as you can see, he is a tiny bit longer. Yeah, he's a tiny bit longer just due to the front part there. And higher as well. He is higher. I can't put the tripod down anymore. You're just going to have to take my word for it. So, bye bye Bumblebee. Um, he does come with a little frenzy figure, which um, you can remove from out there. Uh, so to transform frenzy, what you want to do first, just flip out that. Come around the back here, flip out the head. Yeah, not that hard. So now time to bring him up close. Hey, in the film he had blue eyes. Why? Nice detail there. Nice detail all down this figure. It is very nice. Got detail there. Um, detail there. Detail on the back here. This is very nice. I like this. This is very, very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, hey, 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 don't go falling over on me now. Uh, he does have uh, not much articulation. Head forward, back, forward, back, just due to transformation, so we can say yes. That could be quite annoying. Bombi comes up to him, he will say no. Well, all you can do is this, so yes. Bombi can murder him. Let's put that into practice. Yeah. Bombi murdered Frenzy. Got. <laughs> or is this in arm articulation? It is amazing! And then he can walk like this. Wee wee! But that's nice. Gonna put Frenzy back now. So f just fold him back up. Take this and then stick him in there. There. Now to transform Barricade. Um, Barricade means a lot to me. He was my first transformer that I ever got. And I mean like ever ever. Ever, ever, ever. Unless I had one when I was like two, but I didn't remember it. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, so what you want to do is take that out and take that out. Bring that and brah. And brah. Um, then what you want to do is you want to bring this, bring this down. Then what you want to do, bring the feet down. Flip this up, the little toe there, toe thingy, tab there, pull that up, then split the legs, bring that down and then bring it up, do the same over here, and bring it up, then once you've done that, if you'll stand I'll lift the tripod up. He's got nervous, the camera, he's camera shy. What we want to do then, bring that down, bring that down. You want to spin this around, 
spin this around. I usually bend these up because he doesn't have any hands, but by moving that makes him look a bit better. Um, then what you want to do, come around here, well, come in here, lift that up, then lift that halfway up, and then do the same on this side, lift that up, lift that halfway up. They want to do, come around the back here, bring that down halfway, then you want to come to the front, separate that, and then from under here, push up the head. Once you do that, you just close it. Yeah. Come on. You bring that down. Nearly complete. All you have to do now is flip that up and then flip this up. Uh, there you have Barricade in his robot mode. So now to zap Bumblebee in. So here we have Bumblebee in. Um, as you can see, Bumblebee is bigger. Yeah, he's bigger. Um, but at the head, he's bigger at the head. Yet, Barricade is taller just due to his pointy arms up here and these parts over there. Um, overall, they are pretty nice next to each other. And just bring this Bumblebee down here. Just get a complete photo. That that's nice. That's a nice picture. Um. Well then, just move Bumblebee out of the way, both of them. Then what you want to do is come over here, and you can still take Frenzy out. Send your friend. Ugh, dropped him. I'm not going to show you everything again because there'd just be no point to that. But if you come around here, you can pull on this switch, and then do that, and then you have. And with a long stringy arm, which I see absolutely no point in. I guess it's supposed to sort of replicate, because you can move these further up now. Sort of replicate his spinny arm thing that he had in the film, maybe? I'm not sure. Just go like there. But it's on the springs. And sometimes it can pop out just for no reason, which can be very annoying. So, rawr! Yeah. Just fold that back up. Um, on to the detail! I like to do the detail! Once I fold this back up. As you can see, Barricade has a nice amount of detail on the head there. A uh, nice detail coming down. Got 643 right there. Uh, bring just nice detail all around. Still got police. Just nice detail all around on this figure. So we're just going to put him back now. Um, so overall, Barricade is a nice figure. Um, and I would recommend him if you can find him cheap enough. He isn't worth uh, like thousands and thousands. I don't think he's worth over anything like... I've seen some guys sell this guy for about $50 on eBay. He's not worth that. I had to pick out a replacement after my first one got broke by my little sister. But overall, if you can see him cheap, you should really pick him up. He would look very nice, and if you have Bumblebee, you do have to get this figure. Uh, well, that's all from me. Ron's round 25, transform and roll out.